to my channel. So today's video, I'm spilling out all the tea about our Nickelodeon Resort trip. I'm gonna tell you guys how we booked it, how much we spent over there, how much everything was, what to expect when you get there, all the activities, everything you need to know about the Nickelodeon Resort. And this is all from my personal experience. And I'm also gonna share my honest review about everything, cause y'all know I'm always honest about everything. So, if you guys are thinking about making a trip to the Nickelodeon Resort or already have it booked and want to know more, then keep watching. Link down below is my official travel vlog with my family and we also have a separate video of our room tour, which we booked the pad suite. So let's get started. We're a family of five. I have three kids, a seven-year-old, a three-year-old, and an eight-month-old. And we stayed in April during spring break, during our spring break, so we stayed from Sunday to Thursday we did book through the charisma website and I don't know what it was but that night that we booked it I think there was a glitch because of the price difference so we've been talking about going for months and like we actually started looking into it like last year and the prices were good and you know but we just wanted to wait a little bit you know when we got a little bit more money because y'all know like it's not a cheap trip you know so but we so we waited a while um and the prices went up like crazy high and we're like this is not gonna happen like it was just way too much but it was getting closer to spring break and we were just like okay like what are we really gonna do so one night me and my husband we was just like you know looking at it again to see if the prices changed and he was on his phone on the charisma website and i was on my phone on the charisma website and we put the same dates in and for some reason on his phone it was way cheaper so like when i was looking like i said we stayed from sunday to thursday it was like three, it's like it was like thirty five hundred dollars for that week. And for some reason on his phone it was two thousand. It was around two thousand. And um I was just like, uh, I don't know what's going on because we literally put like the same dates. So you know how they say like that travel hack, like if you've been searching for a certain trip or a certain flight on like your phone and you keep looking at it, like the price is gonna go up, go up. But then if you go to a different browser, like a different computer or whatever, then like the price might be cheaper. I think that's how it goes. But clearly for us that like that wasn't the case. Like, you know, he was kept looking at it and for some reason on his phone it was cheaper. So what I suggest is just to keep looking, you know, look to find the best price. Either way, like, you know, it's not going to be a cheap trip, you know, because Nickelodeon, you know, it's kind of like to me personally, it was like going to like a second type Disney World. Like, yeah, I'm comparing it to Disney because of like how much fun we had. But it just gives off like that same vibe because, you know, the characters and all that fun stuff. But yeah, so definitely just keep looking. Like I said, from Sunday to Thursday, we spent about $2,000 and that was just for this day. Remind you, Nickelodeon Resort is all inclusive, so it does include all food, drinks, and of course, there are some exceptions, which I will talk about that later. And then of course, for the flights. So with flights, it all depends on where you're leaving from. We left from another airport that was about two hours away because it was about like $800 cheaper. And of course, if you're a family, you already know that buying tickets for a whole family of five is it gets up there you know like once you add kids to it and they need their own seat it's like oh my gosh but the crazy thing is that usually like for flights like if you have a lap child lap baby like like my eight month old like i thought that's usually free but i guess with delta we booked through delta and we searched the good uh, good prices like through google flights and like the the price was decent it was like another like 2000 and it was like a special price that you had to like book it like through the website or through the text messaging so we did book it through like text messaging was which was, which was kind of weird but kind of fun too i'm like oh this is different um and but since it was going international i still had to pay for my baby girl and it wasn't like the full price of a ticket it was just like the taxes so i had to pay like i don't know i think it was like a hundred or 150 dollars for the lap seat for the baby they're like yeah for domestic it's free but if you're going international like there's a charge for that for that ticket so i don't know if that's just delta or that's all airlines i don't know but that's how much you paid so altogether, the trip was about like four thousand dollars 
pretty crazy. But this is a trip that you want to save for. Now, also through the Charisma, we also booked a private shuttle. So you can, I think you could book like a bus and like, I guess whoever is in Nickelodeon that's going there, like you get on the bus. But we paid for the private um, car service. I'm not sure how much that was. Um, like I said, like the price was around 2000 That was including the private shuttle. It was kind of difficult to find when you get off the airport because it is crazy when you get off that airport. Like, it's just so many people, people like, you know, they're trying like, oh, taxi here, you need a taxi, where are you going, where are you know, like, it was just like a lot. And then you get off the plane and you have no service, and it's just like, here we are trying to find this, you know, this kiosk that takes us to Nickelodeon, and we asking people, we didn't know what service it was, which we should have looked before. That's the service they use. If you do book with them, like, when you, once you get out the airport, it will be on your left side, where it's like a whole bunch of different, like, um, like, car rentals and stuff like that and they had like a list and they actually had our name but literally when we got off it probably took us about like 45 minutes just to like call somebody get help figure out where we're going and stuff like that um i think that's kind of our fault because we should have like you know asked before like what kind of service it is because it didn't actually say it on there which is kind of weird so i guess it's something you just have to ask like what service like i said it's this service and it actually is inside the resort as well so we got the car service it was really nice it wasn't even a car it was kind of like a a big van um it had like a tv in it the guy was really nice and it took about 30 minutes maybe 30 35 minutes not too sure because i took a nap <laughs> i was tired but it was pretty quick it wasn't bad the ride was smooth um, I had a little TV, they were playing uh, Bad Bunny music videos or whatever. It, it was like connected to YouTube, that was kind of cool. And it had Wi-Fi on there as well. So then we get there and we get there about, I want to say 5, 5.30. So we were ready, you know, we are like, okay, we're going to go to the pool, we're going to do this, you know, want to eat. But unfortunately, there's times obviously for the pool and times for the water park and all that stuff. So checking in took about mm, maybe 25 minutes. Um, I had to ask for the slime drink. They didn't like have it, you know, just waiting for you, you know, when you get out the car or whatever. Like, you know, you kind of, I guess you kind of have to ask for it. So they gave us a slime drink, which was pretty good. It ha had like a coconut flavor to it, but I really enjoyed that. And then they give you the wristband, which is your room key. It's, the, it's like an orange band that sits Nickelodeon. And you have to keep it on. Or, I mean, it, you can take it off. It's kind of like a watch band. Um, but you don't want to lose it because obviously they charge for that if you lose that, which is understandable. And of course, when you check it into any hotel, they're going to ask for a credit card to keep on file for damages. They gave us our room number and then we got a little golf cart and they drove us to our building. The guy helped us bring our luggages upstairs. But now back to the times for the pools and stuff like that. So the pool closes at 6 and the water park closes at 5. So since we got there at like 5.30ish, you know, we, there was no way that we was going to make it to go in the pool or anything like that. By the time we got into the room, it was basically almost 6 o'clock. So that was kind of a bummer. So I don't know, you know, it depends on when you guys travel and that's what you want to do. Like, you know, take full advantage of the first day. Personally, I wish I traveled earlier and like, you know, got there earlier so we can, you know, have fun, have a fun filled day instead of just like getting there, checking in, getting dinner and that's it, you know. So just keep that in mind if that's, you know, one of the main things you want to do is obviously go in the pool after traveling all day or go to the water park. But yeah, so those are the times when they close. Also, at check in, they recommend to download the Charisma app and I highly recommend to download that as well. It's so, so helpful. Like, you know, you feel like you just in the know. You know what's going on on the Little Resort. They're very, very organized. That's what I can say. Because they have something to do every single hour, every single 30 minutes, you know. And when you have the app, it literally tells you what's going on that day. So you can look up, you know, oh, I think they probably have like a week in, a, in advance maybe. So you can look up, you know, what... We're gonna do when we get there what we're gonna do tomorrow you know okay this opens at this time blah, blah blah like this show starts this time so this is where we gotta be so i really really love that how organized it is like i feel like there was not a dull moment that i'm like oh well okay what's next no there's always always something going on 
and it makes it you know worth the money it is a resort for kids so there's so many activities for kids but also um they have a lot of things for adults too just to have fun obviously it's fun because you see your kids having fun so the resort offers like a lot of things for families as well such as strollers my baby girl we have a duna and obviously we, we brought that there you know to travel with and stuff like that but i didn't want her to like sit in the car seat and stuff to get like get wet when we get out the pool and stuff like that like so they have strollers there and it was a chico stroller and we ended up renting two for my three-year-old because he ended up like tired of walking so you have to get the stroller at the concierge i'm i'm horrible at saying that word so which is in the main lobby so you have to go there like when you first walk in on the right is a concierge and then you can you know talk to them about anything like make reservations things like that and you know rent out the strollers i think they also have high chairs and then of course they also have cribs so when we got there in our room i called the front desk and i was like hey we want a crib and they're like okay so they came maybe about 30 minutes so you don't have to worry about like packing a packing player or anything like that and all of that is free of charge which is great you know to rent these kind of things they also have like baby food at the buffet so that's another thing if you're traveling with a baby it's only like i think it's like maybe three different flavors it's by heinz it's like a pouch so it had like apple and like a tropical flavor or something like that and it had like banana so they had three flavors but i mean that's kind of good like to know that oh they got little pouches for babies so i didn't know that i brought my own but you know they had some too now let's talk about food so there are about i believe it says like 10 restaurants this is the charisma app that i'm on just so i can make sure i give you guys all the info this is how the app looks so as you see it says punta cana you can actually change it and put if you're going to the one in mexico it has all the cat categories like restaurants daily activities spa and wellness and resort overview so real quick let's go to daily activities and i put all types because there are different categories like if you just want to see um characters but every day i just did all daily activities so you see everything that's happening that day and then you can even click on it and it'll tell you even more stuff about it so very organized so back to restaurants so like i said there's right here it says there's 10 restaurants which we obviously didn't go to all of them the main restaurant is called sugar cane which is the buffet and that's basically the only place to eat breakfast which is kind of which kind of sucks because you know it is only one place so it gets pretty packed 7 to 11 is breakfast then they close and 12 30 to late is um dinner lunch dinner whatever now um uh, my review for sugar cane when it came to it when it came to breakfast or lunch like it wasn't really all that to me um i'd probably give it maybe a seven out of ten i mean it, they had stations you know like an omelet station or uh, like during dinner they had like a pasta station you know where they make it in front of, where they make it well you got to stand in line then they make it how you want it and stuff like that but obviously things like that like take a while um they have a lot of options though um i really liked that although you're on a nickelodeon resort you still feel like you're in dominican republic because a lot of resorts don't you don't feel like that but they have like a whole section of like straight dominican food you know so you're a part you're still feeling the culture there which i think is amazing like i said they have a lot of different stations they have like a cold cut station they have like a bakery station where they have like croissants cookies in the back you know cereal breakfast you know, obviously eggs bacon like it's a lot to choose from but you know i feel like when you go to a buffet it's like you know you eat here and there little bits and pieces and i'm honestly like a picky eater so i didn't re i wasn't really full there you know i guess oh i get a little bit of this i guess a little bit of that you know so like i said i give it like a seven out of ten and then same for like dinner it was like you know it was okay and like i said it kind of sucks that that's the only place for breakfast now there is another place like i guess you could say is breakfast is called dopio which is their coffee shop so i saw that they do have like sandwiches that they can heat up so like i saw like a ham and cheese croissant there are sandwiches there that they warm up for you and then you can eat that for breakfast instead of going into the buffet so out of all the restaurants space walker is the only restaurant that you have to make a reservation for and space walker is like 
you're walking into space basically the whole restaurant is space themed um they got people dressed up as astronauts so spacewalker is known for like that cool like chocolate mold and they pour like hot chocolate on top of it inside is like gelato and like a brownie or whatever to be honest it wasn't all that um we did get a steak and that was pretty good and i think we also got like chicken nuggets and fries for the kids and then inside spacewalker they have these like things i don't know what it's called like virtual reality like eggs that you know it looks like you're supposed to go in there and you put the goggles on and it looks like you're in space or whatever but it didn't even work so it was just like there for like decoration uh so that was like disappointing too so it wasn't like you know it, it, it just wasn't all that so honestly i would pass that i wouldn't even bother to make the reservation for spacewalker and that's just my opinion now we made this reservation and i think it was like nine o'clock at night but obviously we ate before that reservation time so we went to walk walk that night which was really really good so it's the asian restaurant and we had sushi i think i had lo mein like, but the food was really really good so the nights that we were there um we really want to visit like the other restaurants but like it's not a reservation and it's kind of like first come first served and that was kind of disappointing because one night we got dressed you know it was pretty early i think it was maybe like 6 30 7 o'clock i believe the restaurants open at six um it all depends on which restaurant it is um so we weren't really want to go to verdello which is the italian restaurant and when we got there um, they said it was about like an hour or two wait, which was crazy. And they gave us like the little buzzer and we're like, okay, well, we're hungry now. So let's just go to the buffet because that's like, you know, the buffet is just that one stop place that, you know, you can get some food. And, you know, there wasn't really anything I really wanted there. So I just nibbled on something. It was way more than an hour. Like eventually we just like just said, forget it. So we just said, forget it. And, you know, we had fun at the activities out there for the kids, like the bounce house, face painting, um, popcorn things like that they have like every night there for the kids and we just went back to the room and got um, room service because you know it kind of sucked because like it was it wasn't really an hour wait we was waiting way more than that and we just returned the buzzer so i highly recommend if you really want to go to these restaurants that doesn't require reservations um it's just to get there right when they open and to get in line because i feel like it was a it was a busy time since it was spring break, but it wasn't like that busy. Like I didn't feel crowded, like, you know? So, but you know, like I said, there was a wait. So um, since we knew that, that next day, we really went to go to Walk Walk and that's when we went there and it was really good. Um, like I said, also I really recommend at Walk Walk to try the Dominican sushi roll, so good. I wish we had more days there so we can go back to um, go to the other restaurants like Rodello and then there's also a burger place so we didn't actually go into the burger place because once again long wait um, but they did have a day which I showed clips in our travel vlog they did have a day um, where all the restaurants had their food out so they had like a little cart and they had like samples of their food that you can just get instead of going inside the restaurant they had it all out there which was really really nice so that's when we actually tried the burger place because the burger place is known for the big big burger and you can actually order that in the restaurant but they had it there out so you know we just cut a slice and that burger was really really good so then there's fresco which is a swim up bar but also has like a little you know restaurant right there and that's outside of building two which is where we stayed at so it was right outside our building and that was really nice so we went there one day and i got tacos the tacos were really good i wish you know we were able to go there again it's just like there's so much to do there you know it's it's impossible unless you stay for like you know a week or longer to explore everything but so far for like the fresco that was really good the tacos then the next restaurant was zest and zest is where the character breakfast is at zest is actually located like on the other side of the resort like where the pools and the beach are so the resort was so big that it felt like two different resorts especially when you go all the way to the water park area which is aqua Knit. we went to zest for lunch one day and that was that was really good too it's another buffet so it seemed like it was just a smaller version of sugarcane they basically had the same food but some for some reason since it was smaller i felt like it tasted better 
I don't know if like the cooks like to just like you know paid more attention but like I can definitely tell a difference so I would recommend to go to Zest for lunchtime if you're spending the time the day at the pool or the beach like I really enjoyed the breakfast there like I said you know basic stuff like chicken nuggets french fries pizza pasta salad yogurt fruit things like that so another restaurant is at Aqua Nick which is the water park and it's called Aqua Bite there like I said they they cater to kids so you know that you're gonna get stuff that kids like like chicken fingers they had chicken wings there a chicken salad wrap that was good burgers things like that pretty good it was pretty good pretty decent so also food for room service it was like i said pretty basic you know they had burgers they had mac and cheese we ordered chicken fingers and french fries what else we got like chocolate cake cheesecake and alfredo pasta alfredo pasta was all that honestly but the burger was really good. I always recommend the burger. The burger was good there. But yeah, the room service was really, really nice because it was so cool that you can order the room service on the TV. Like, you don't have to call and ask. Like, you see the menu on the TV, just click it, add to cart, check out, and obviously it's included. And then they came within, like, I want to say, like, 40 minutes max. And the guy comes, he has, like, this backpack and is, like, insulated backpack with all the food and you know make a space for him and he like puts all the food put it all nice and stuff like that and that's it love it love it i, I love the room service especially since 24 hours like you know if you just want to go back in the room watch tv order room service it's the best now let's talk about the extra money so it's so funny because like i posted instagram reels and tiktoks about like our days like you know part one part two people on tiktok somebody was like oh I didn't enjoy my time because everything costs money, extra money, when you know you spend all that money just to stay there. Now, I honestly feel like you can have fun without getting all the extra stuff that costs money. You know, it's all up to you. We kind of went all out because, like, we don't know when we're going to go back there. This was a trip that we planned for. Like I said, I can com I can compare it to Disney. Like, when you go to Disney, you're going to buy some unnecessary stuff. So things that you have to pay for at Nickelodeon Resort. First is the cabana. So we rented a cabana at Aquanick and that was $75, I believe. And that was for the whole day. So Aquanick is open from nine to five. So you can have that whole day. And then you have two people there that's like kind of like serving you. So one is for drinks and the other one is for food. So they kind of like, do you need anything? One thing that I did not like about the cabana was where it was located so it was the cabana was like on top of like grass and dirt which doesn't feel nice when you're at a water park you know your feet are wet you can come in and out of the pool so i felt like my feet was always dirty like so i would suggest to wear swim shoes but i think they could they should do something different like put you know sand or you know concrete or something instead of like mushy dirt because it, it, it was just a thing i just did not enjoy that at all there are other cabanas but it's like reserved for prestige travelers so it's like it's one of their timeshares which i'll get into it later but yeah so they have like cabanas that's for prestige people and it's like right at the pool you know concrete like it makes sense but the other ones that you have to pay for is in the dirt so it just all depends if you find it worth it or not i liked it because you know just to relax have the kids nap or whatever plus just for the vibes for the experience so that's what we did on our first day first full day other things you got to pay for is the character breakfast so the character breakfast breakfast you you reserve it at the concierge so a character breakfast you do have to pay per adult per kid when you make the reservation with the concierge people they kind of say like oh if you do this tour the adults will be free and then the kids price will be a percentage off and then you also get a percentage off on the sliming and other different things like that so we're like okay okay aka you already know it's like some type of timeshare but they say oh it's not a timeshare you know how resorts are come on so we're like okay we'll do the little tour they're like yeah it's only like an hour and there's a place that play area for the kids so you know they don't get antsy or whatever and i'm like we're like okay so we signed up for it which i will talk about later because we're talking about pricing right now so yeah ultimately you know we had the character breakfast they do do it every day i believe they do it at 9 and 12 i'm not too sure but i know we did it at nine o'clock do i recommend the character breakfast yes i think it was really really fun um the food was great the service was great and then obviously just seeing all of the characters was really fun. They took their time to, you know, go table by table to take pictures 
pictures with each character. I took pictures on my phone and then they also took like professional pictures that you can see in the photo area. The only con about the character breakfast was I felt like it wasn't like, you know, sitting down to eat because like, you know, in, at, in the beginning when you first walk in, um, you know, you get your food or whatever and you're enjoying it. But then like probably they might give you maybe 30 minutes before they start the all the dancing and all the entertainment and stuff like that. And then, you know, when you're waiting in lines to get the food, you know, so it was kind of hectic, you know, like, oh, it's your table next. Like, oh, take a bite. Oh, wait, oh, it's the next character. Oh, you know, like, it was kind of a lot going on, especially when you have three kids. And like, for me, I guess I felt a little bit overwhelmed too, because obviously, like, I'm a content creator. So here I am trying to record it for my phone for real, plus take pictures, plus record it for the vlog. So, you know, it was just me that was like doing extra stuff but it's still like a lot to just you know keep getting up to see each character while you're trying to eat you know but i still recommend it because you get to see those characters that you might not see you know at character pop-ups during your stay so you know for sure you're going to see spongebob patrick other things you had to pay for was like corona so corona like the beer um that was five dollars we didn't get it but that's crazy you know five dollars a bottle like here i am at an all-inclusive like just give me the presidente i'm okay with that um i did buy the coconut because i got it for the vibes but the coconut was eight dollars so it's a fresh coconut with the coconut water in there and then you can you know just drink it like that or they can add a shot or you know i got um a cherry pina colada and they like put it all together in the in the coconut and of course the main thing you go to nickelodeon resort is to get slimed you do have to pay to get a private sliming so every day at aqua neck at three o'clock they do the big sliming so that's at the water park with the big bucket in the middle of the water park and they pour slime all over everybody you know so but some people obviously want to take have a private sliming which you guys seen in my video now i think i don't know if this is a new thing because my friend, she went to Nickelodeon Resort, I want to say maybe two years ago, and she didn't have to pay all this extra stuff. Like, I honestly don't know if she did the character breakfast. I think she did, but I don't know if she had to pay for it. But um, the sliming, she said it was it was free. Like, it was just like, oh, if you want to, like, they probably had a different system. And obviously, their popularity, you know, increased. So now they're charging for private slimings. Um, and obviously we did it because, you know, we're there, you know, we want to do it all. Now, you do book this in the concierge area. Uh, we booked it in the Aqua Nick concierge area. Um, I swear I can't say that word. And there are different prices. So it is more money to do a private sliming in Aqua Nick. And I'm guessing it's because of the vibes because it's really not a big difference um i think it cost i think it was 60 or 65 if you want to do it at aquanic and i'm guessing they charge extra because they kind of do a whole production so they like call the room numbers and you know okay room two two whatever come is your turn now and then they do a whole countdown everyone's watching you and you know it's like it's kind of like a whole you know show so I think that's what you're paying for. That's what the extra money is. Now, there are other two locations. So the other location is in front of Fresco, which it was in front of our building. So it was like a, the swimming bar thing. Um, and then you could do it at the beach. And those two areas, it was like $45. And that's for the whole family. Obviously, when we did the sliming, it was just me, my husband, and my seven-year-old daughter because my three-year-old didn't want to do it. And obviously, my baby's not going to do it. So... Uh, it was just three of us and that price though it does include one photo which is pretty nice but you know it's kind of hard to choose one photo because like do you want the slime on you for the photo or do you want it almost on you you know so but they get the action shots so that's included in the price so we ended up we booked it for the fresco area but it wasn't there like it's like a cart that you sit on or whatever like that's where you do the sliming at but it wasn't there so we called asking around like it was kind of annoying trying to figure out like you know we booked it for here like why is it not here but then we called and they were like oh well on this day it's not here it's actually at the beach so you know they gave you wrong information so we went to the beach and we was waiting there for a while because the photographer wasn't there and we're like they're like oh yeah we're trying to call you know so we was waiting for a while and um they're like, well, 
how about you just go to Aquanic and do your sliming there and you know I'll make sure they give you the same price or whatever and we're like we do not want to do that like walk all the way from one end of the resort to go over there and we was about to get on the cart and do that but we saw a lady with a camera so she was a photographer and she came like just in time so we didn't have to do all that so we ended up doing it at the beach which was nice now I do want to point out though so for you guys or even like your con content creators and stuff like that like Nick is pretty hip like the people that work there they are pretty hip when it comes to social media because like they got it because I was just like man the slimy like of course like I said I gotta get the shot so I'm like okay well can you record on the camera and then obviously a photographer's there taking a picture but then I also want it on my phone you know I want a video plus pictures too you know um and they were really good like they know what to do they know how to work an iphone i don't know androids i can't speak for y'all but like they got good angles when it came to the slimy when it came to the character breakfast like they were recording plus taking pictures different angles like they got it and that video that they did for us for my vlog like he was talking he was like yeah nickelodeon like showing the logo and everything like that. i'm like they know how to market so you don't have to worry about that because they got the angles and when it comes to like the photo services so let's talk about that real quick so the photo services like it's like you know it's in the main area so you can go in there you don't really have to buy the pictures if you don't want to of course they always have a photographer when it comes like the character pop-ups or whatever like the sliming so you go in there you tell them like you know what date was your sliming or what date was your character breakfast and they have all the pictures there and you got to look for your family and you know you look through all the pictures and all that stuff the pictures are really good um, they even have services to just like take family pictures on the beach or I've seen someone do like birthday pictures like a cake smash pictures like you know it's like a whole photography business you know so I was like oh man that's cool like the photographer was trying to get us to do like a beach sunset family picture but I'm like we're not gonna have time for that but yeah so when it comes to the pictures um obviously it costs so I talked about it in my vlog but they charge $17 per picture and it's supposed to include a printout, but when we were there, they didn't have any paper. So I'm like, okay, well, y'all don't have paper, so like, what's just the download? Because the $17 is for like a download, so they email it to you. And they're like, oh, well, we don't have paper. And I'm like, okay, so is there a different price because y'all not going to print it? And they're like, no, it's $17. I'm like, so here I am, $17 per picture. But like I said, the slimy was included, and then we got a few from the character meetups, like from the character breakfast, and then we saw Ninja Turtles at Aquanix. So I got that picture of the kids because they look cute. So we got a few photos, but I'm just like, yeah, you do, you paying that. But in reality, I didn't really have to get that because I have the picture on my phone. I just want to like the professional picture, which I want to print out and, you know, hang in the house, you know, for our memories. But like I said, they are pretty good with taking pictures on your phone. Like I did not have to buy that. Actually, I shouldn't have bought that. But I didn't actually like look through my phone and look at the pictures and like how good they were. Like they look exactly the same because, you know, iPhone, it was pretty much the same so i don't recommend buying the photo um but like i said if you do the private slime you get the photo included so that's all good too let's talk about just the overall service like everybody there was really nice very welcoming so they do have like a kind of like a daycare section which is called club nick and they we went there twice so the first time we went there was during family open time or family playtime something like that so definitely look on the app to see when that is because that's when you can actually go in there with your kid and watch them play and stuff like that but usually it's a place where you drop your kid off so you sign in sign them out you know you have to fill out a form um i think the ages is like from 4 to 12 i want to say maybe but they have like video games they have so many activities in there like i wish we stayed longer because they do a lot of stuff with the kids like that's hands-on like baking making crafts like making slime like so many things there's a huge ball pit in there a slide like the kids loved it so we went there during family open time and then on our last day there that before we left um we dropped my daughter off for like an hour just so we can go to the photo area and just get a couple things done and then we picked her up but you know she had a great time by herself she didn't want to leave but like I honestly felt okay like at first I was just like I don't know about dropping her off but like there's a lot of supervision there there's a bathroom in there like kid friendly like it was really really great like the service was so good there like so our first day 
that we went to Aqua Nick. So like I had a baby floaty for my baby and I was trying to see if they had like a pump because in their gift shop they had like this huge Patrick Star floaty. So I'm like if they have this like they obviously have a pump. So we went to ask and they couldn't find the pump. And the guy was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, we can't find it, whatever. So, you know, my husband was like, it's fine. Like, I'll just blow it up by my mouth. Like, it's fine. And the guy was like, no, you're on vacation. And he blew it up by himself with his mouth. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, he's like, no, you're on vacation. Like, no, you're going to enjoy yourself. I'm like, okay, this is like some good customer service. You know, like, they like really put like, you know, emphasis. Like, you're on vacation, relax, have fun, blah, blah, blah. Like, love it 10 out of 10. now let's talk about the gift shop so the gift shop is obviously way overpriced like i was like what what like it was crazy like so they have these cute spongebob matching bathing suits for the family and like the kids bathing suit like probably the size 2t the trunks were like 80 dollars 80 dollars i'm like oh no so we didn't get anything from the gift shop because I'm just like, no. I did buy their like reusable bags that they sell because it says like Nickelodeon Resort, Punta Cana. But that was just a dollar. And then I also bought their Dominican coffee because I love coffee. So, and that was $12. But the gift shop, expensive. And the crazy thing is that obviously like one of their main thing is Aqua Nick. And in order to get to Aqua Nick, you have to go through the gift shop. Do you know how crazy like they know because when kids walk through there they're like i want this give me this give me that give me that like and everything was like i can get this on amazon for ten dollars versus eighty dollars <laughs> it was crazy crazy overpriced but i mean like that's expected when you're on a you know themed resort like that but definitely save your money buy the theme stuff beforehand pack in your luggage and act like it's brand new because shoot that's what i did in disney too when we went to disney also wands that they sell over there yeah i got that on amazon before i even got there because i'm not going to spend how much for that so think ahead because i can't believe that you really have to because there was a gate next to the gift shop that we thought we can just go in instead of going through the gift shop but no you really gotta go through the gift shop and the last thing i want to talk about is that prestige tours that they say oh it's not a timeshare so we ended up doing it after our character breakfast and it was pretty cool because they showed us like an upgraded room that was like for prestige people and it was really cool because i didn't know that they had like like personal pools on the second and third floor of the buildings usually when i see swim ups it's only like on the first floor you know because you know pools are on the bottom but the fact that we went to a whole third floor room and it has its own swim i mean has its own swim has its own pool i was just like what that's so cool like i never seen anything like that so like we were kind of like sold on it we're like okay you know all the stuff that's included or whatever but then honestly like they be dragging it out when it comes to these things and you know it's a timeshare and like oh it's not a timeshare but y'all we were and we ended up frustrated because they're like we only have it only only an hour only an hour and you know after they do the whole tour and they take you to the office obviously that's when they're talking about numbers here they are still selling still selling we're like what is the price what is the price and they still wouldn't say it. they're like oh well this will be included overall they like wanted some like they were like we'll just put ten thousand dollars down today and da -da -da -da. i'm like I just paid how much to even get here you talk about today right now no payment plan we're like look thank you but no thank you we can't do that right now but thank you for the discount so it's all up to you if you want to actually do that whole prestige tour um i mean some people it is affordable for you know some families for us not right now okay um but i mean if you take an hour out of your time you get the discounts for the other stuff so i think overall that was worth it when we checked out we did have a bill i think all together with all the other stuff it was like 180 dollars maybe or you know or 150 dollars i think and that was with the character breakfast the slimy of course my camera is gonna die when i'm at the end overall nickelodeon resort putakana i give our whole stay at least like an eight and a half nine out of ten and it only went less because of the food you know like i'm all i'm a foodie you know i love food although and but i am picky you know so i just wish i experienced the other restaurants like i said earlier 
but the buffet was just not it for me. I love it because of the activities, the fun, the organization. Um, like I said, every day is something, every hour is something, especially at nighttime, it's called Gourmet Village, that's where all the food is at, but like that's like the middle of the resort and that's where everything goes down. Like I said earlier how they had all the restaurants out, it was like culture day or something, um, but they even had while we were there, it was like Dominican day, like when they had like all Dominican food all around, like you really felt like Although you're on a Nicola Resort, like you still felt like you were in Dominican Republic, which is great because if you guys have been following me for a while and you've seen like my review on Hyatt Ziva in Jamaica, that's like our top disliked video because people said I was complaining. Meanwhile, like I'm just giving you my review. But anyways, uh, like I didn't feel like I was in Jamaica because the food was so watered down. And like food is a huge deal when you're going to an all-inclusive. Like, it's all inclusive. I should enjoy my food if I, if it's like all inclusive, you know. But Nickelodeon, they hit their spots, you know. So I do recommend going there. Yes, we definitely want to go back. But yeah, hopefully this video was very helpful, full of information. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next.